What's up Scrollgers, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to be exploring the Scrolls demo version. So you probably know that with the release of Scrolls on Thursday, Mojang is officially announcing the new demo version, which is a free trial version of Scrolls accounts, um, and you have limited access to the game, but uh, you can test it out and see if you like it, and then hopefully it will get you hooked and you will eventually buy the game. And the game is also uh, lowered to five dollars uh, US dollars it used to be 20 US dollars but Mojang was kind enough to unleash the demo accounts um, about a week early so we can all test them out and I'll be showing you guys how to do that today and what it looks like and stuff like that so I first for you you're gonna need a new Mojang account to make a scrolls demo account that means you can't use the same email you used for uh, your Minecraft account, you can't use the same email you use for your Scrolls account. You'll have to use a new email that's not tied to any Mojang account, not even a Mojang account that you deleted. So once you have that, I tried making the new Mojang account from the accounts.mojang website or whatever, but I had some trouble there, so I think it's easier just to make it directly from the Scrolls launcher. So make sure you have the Scrolls launcher downloaded, the new one. You can find it right on scrolls.com. So you just have to open that up and then uh, if you have your account or accounts here, see that's my demo account, Nerf Demo, but this is what you'd do if you didn't have it yet. You'd go add a new user, okay, and then um, you don't have the account yet. You have to register account, so click this, and you could register right in here. Uh, right here, you'd say what you want the name to be. That's where I wrote Nerf Demo, and up here was the email that I used. So this creates a new Mojang account. So once you do that, you'll probably get like an email confirmation, stuff like that, back and forth, and hopefully you'll eventually end up back where you can log in with that account so now that you got that ready I just I just named mine uh, nerp demo because I am boring and couldn't come up with a better name so you can go right in here and the game looks the same basically the same. I'm just gonna zoom into the game now so you don't have to see the rest of the desktop so first thing you'll just notice the only thing that really stands out is this it says scrolls demo on top so if you see somebody making like some YouTube videos on scrolls you know if they're using the demo so with all, all new scrolls accounts start with 2,000 gold if you didn't know um, this account has 2,100 gold because I unlocked some achievement I forgot but one thing uh, I should just get off the bat in the beginning you cannot trade with players using the demo account which means, no, you can't just make a billion million emails for Mojang accounts and then uh, get a lot of free 2,000 gold and trade them to your main account. No, you cannot trade with demo accounts. So if you want to do that, you're going to have to pay the $5 every single time for a demo account and get 2,000 gold from them. So, yeah. And I'll go through the limitations from the demo account right here. Uh, first of all, one thing that I think is uh, interesting is you cannot uh, change your avatar and save it. So you have to use whatever avatar it gives you randomly. Your avatar's demo account will be different from other people's. It will just be random of the parts. So that's um, that could be so insensitive if you get stuck with a really ugly uh, avatar. You might want to buy the game so you could change it. Um, you can rack up stats, I believe, and they will be carried over to your account once you purchase it into a real account um, I don't believe you're gonna be able to rename your account so don't name your account like like whatever your name is demo because I think when you upgrade it it will <laughs> it would still keep that net demo name then uh, you can unlock achievements like this one um, that I unlocked and I'll just sit in, so you can spectate on the demo account too I'll just quickly show you guys that works uh, just go right in QQ playing ranked. I gotta watch out for him taking my number one spot. He's a very capable player. So, yep, it all looks good. The demo accounts, you can see what the top players are up to. Um, you notice in chat, demo accounts have a little badge right there. See, this guy is also a demo account, Neo Synaptic. Demo, demo. Um, it has a little D on the badge. It looks a little too similar to the the mod badge like on the mod bot right here I mean like 
the mod bot it has a little M on it. I think they should change it so either the mod bot the mods are more easily seen or the demos are like put down like maybe their name will be uh, shaded or something. I don't know. At least the mods have yellow text. That's good. But yeah, so that's how you can identify demo users and look down upon them. No, I'm just kidding. But basically, Mojang made it very clear about what you can and cannot do with the demo version by having these giant locks in front of some features of the game. Like most obviously, uh, the two biggest features of the game that you cannot do with the demo version is uh, play ranked and play judgment. And those are pretty, those are more advanced uh, game modes, so I think they chose the right ones there that would be locked for uh, demo players because demo players are not for people like me, right? Like, they're for new players just um, trying to test it out and see if they would like it to actually put actual real money into it. So, um, you can play all the tutorials so you can get a grasp on the game. Um, you can play against the AI, but you cannot play against the hard AI. So that's interesting. It's keeping it like on easy difficulties. And the trials, similarly, but the daily trials, you can play the, the daily easy trials, but you cannot play the medium or the hard. So I feel like you should be able to play medium because medium is very simple. It's very easy to beat. But uh, that's fine, I guess. Um, a little, it doesn't really... I wish they would just have it across all things, like you can't play just the hard because this one you can play the medium, but the trials you can play the you can't play the medium. But the trials are pretty universal because you can play all the easy trials, but you can't play any of the medium or hard trials. And I know uh, it said that a scrolls campaign mode is coming in the future, but right now the trials are the closest thing we have to a campaign mode, so that's also a pretty um, big feature of the game. That's cut off two-thirds of it at least uh, you can play multiplayer uh, quick matches so that's probably what most of these players would be doing if they're like trying to use it up and these scrolls demos account for all I know do not expire so they're not like 30-day trials like you have this version of the game um, indefinitely um, and you can keep a collection of scrolls going and all that stuff and whenever you want to upgrade for five dollars you can keep all that stuff you've earned your stats your gold your rating i think all that stuff carries over and yeah it's kind of good so yes like i said you can collect scrolls and all that stuff you have your growth deck that it gave you with in the beginning you can unlock the achievements to get the other starter decks um but you what you can't do is you can't buy starter decks from the store so store for demo accounts, you can you can add to your collection by buying any of the packs here. Um, you can still earn gold from the from the easy trials, the uh, quick matches. So you can still earn gold with the trial accounts or the demo accounts, I should call them. And you can buy stuff from the just for you section. Uh, the the pre constructed decks from the store are locked, so you can't get those. And so are the Avatars. I mean, it would be kind of pointless to buy one of these even if it wasn't locked as a demo user because you can't even uh, change your avatar as we as we looked at. So that is that, and you it says like shards down here, like you can buy in shards, but like it says here, you cannot actually buy shards with the demo version. You have to get to the full version and then you can buy shards. So it's like just a little leap there. And you could buy the full version right from the scrolls, scrolls client. So that's cool. Okay, and here this is just the default settings that starts you out with. Um, is there anything else? Oh, crafting. You cannot craft with the demo version. Uh, you see, there's a lot of features you can't do with the demo version, but there's a good. You can definitely. There's definitely enough features uh, like increasing your collecting and earning gold through quick matches against other players online, playing the trials, and stuff like that to really get you a feel of the game, and hopefully it would make you want to buy the game. Um, but I guess that's it uh, for this video. I'm not sure what else I have to tell you here. Um, I guess what it could mean for demo accounts is it could help people that just want to test things, like, like make your own, and then you can go ahead and like challenge each other and test stuff. 
obviously you couldn't like you couldn't really play real game modes with the demo account but yeah demo account's a great thing for scrolls going forward and i hope you guys are as pumped for me for thursday when scrolls releases so that'll be it so thanks for watching like if you enjoyed subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you guys tomorrow daily videos up to release and after release see you next time